Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Pedanology Lab. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top three stocks that you should be keeping in your watch list for today. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of you who dropped your stocks of interest in yesterday's uh, comment section of that video, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Let me change the scene. There we go. All right, right off the bat, we got the SPY. And um, it took a dip overnight around like two, 1 or 2 o'clock. And then buyers bought it right back up, okay? They're not letting this thing tank. Okay, it's, it's, I'm still bullish on it, and even though it's down 0 0.27 like right now, 0.27%, I'm still bullish on it. I don't think we're going to go all the way back down to like 3600 anytime soon. I think we will continue our uptrend very, very soon, okay? So definitely keep the SPY on your watch list for today for a potential long. All right, now... The top three stocks, the very first one that we're going to be talking about is uh, Big C, Big Commerce. And for those of you who've been uh, subscribing to the channel and have watched Friday's uh, pre-market video, we talked about Big Commerce when it was at the bottom at $75.01. And then on Friday, it ran hard along with Oxy. Oxy and this one ran super hard. So there was a lot of money to be made on this move. And honestly, I don't think it's over yet. I think we're going to keep going higher and higher. If you look at it on the four hour, it looks, it's, it's just the beginning people. Like I think we're going to make new highs here and we're going to go probably to like $85 within like, if not today, then probably by Tuesday for sure. So just keep this one on your watch list for sure. Um, the pattern is there, it's very clean, it's very easy, very predictable. It's right there in the front of you, okay? So that is the very first one. Now, the second one that we're going to be talking about, y'all gonna love this one. <laughs> that one is Tesla. <laughs> Tesla, okay? You remember what I told you yesterday? I told all of you, it looks like there is a lot of stocks that want to squeeze shorts this week. And apparently Tesla is one of them, all right? Now, this is not good for short sellers. The short sellers who got in here, like who got in above here at like 607, who've been shorting all the way back down and did not cover here or didn't cover in this dragonfly doji right there, right? The ones who didn't cover at all, the ones who still persist persistent and want to see Tesla crumble back down to the lows, these individuals are going to get squeezed very soon this is not a good look if you're shorting this all i can say is be very very careful okay because you are about to get crushed so um watch this thing for a move up to like to maybe 6 30 maybe 6 40 within the next like day or two i'm bullish on tesla i'm not bearish at all this is not good for short sellers. I would not be shorting this one right now. I really wouldn't. Let's take a look at the five. Yeah, definitely do not short this. This is a good. This is good for a long play. Okay, it's good for a long play. Now, um, the next stock that we're going to be looking at looks even better now than it did over the weekend. All right, and that stock is Lemonade. And Lemonade. For those of you who watched, I don't know if it was yesterday, yesterday's video or Saturday's video, but we talked about Lemonade, and I like that it did not crumble over here. I like that buyer stepped in over here. I like the increase in volume over here. And I also like that it's trying to find, it's trying to go through option number one. Option number one is going there in a the straight line. If you look at it on the four hour chart, it wants to, it, it just, it, it wants to go through option number one. Option number two is a drop back down here and going all the way back up. But it wants to go straight up. So I like it. I like it a lot. There isn't any news at all pertaining the stock or the way it's moving up right now. Even though the market is slightly down, this one is actually gapping up, which is interesting. Okay, so keep that in mind as you are trading today. Okay, so definitely keep that one on your watch list for sure 
we got time for a few more. Now let's talk about um, you guys' stocks of interest, which are also very, very good questions, okay? The very first one that we're going to tackle in this video, we're gonna do NEO. Now, um, for those of you who have been watching the channel, I told all of you that this um, bounce right here was not very convincing. And I did say that this was a dead cat bounce. And it kind of looked like it was like it dropped overnight and right now buyers are like trying to step in here and i told you that i do want to see this thing tumble all the way down to like around here between like 36 dollars and 30 dollars okay but you never know it may not even get there but i wanted to get there i still wanted to get there based off of this right here okay this is very overextended and i think short sellers still want to make a lot more money on this so they might cause some more selling pressure to the downside very very soon so um definitely keep neo on your watch list if it crashes really fast that's great that will be a phenomenal dip buy if it crashes really fast but if it doesn't then just go sideways then i'm just gonna have to be patient on there and see so that is my very honest opinion on that one and if you want to take let's take a look at this our competitor xpev and XPEV is down massively. Let's do, yeah, four hour chart. Yeah, it's down, it's, it broke through the previous low. So this is a classic dead cat bounce. It bounces just a little bit and then it just starts fading and fading. And hopefully today it just crumbles all the way down. Okay, hopefully it crumbles all the way down. That would be great for all of us, right? For Especially for the long-term investors who might see massive upside on um, these stocks. Again, you should be happy to see the stock rumble okay that way you can just buy more shares um so that is my very honest opinion of these two stocks neo and expo now the next one that we're going to be looking at is uh sblk and sblk for those of you who watched yesterday's video i told you all that we will be experiencing or we should be experiencing more selling pressure because the stock didn't do too hot through earnings and i did plot this line at 140 and also i want to see this thing drop to 140. this is not looking good for longs like the dip buyers who got in over here and who got in over here are not happy to see this thing open up lower right here therefore personally i would love to see this thing crumble to the downside so for the day traders out there there is an opportunity to go short with puts on this one. There is an opportunity to go in short for a massive fade to the downside. Hopefully it can happen today. If not today, then probably within the next two days so that it can be more attractive to the longs. That way they can just step in and like step in aggressively and buy it and hold for the long term. Because again, long term investors like this kind of stock that goes like that continuously goes up like that okay they like that but for the short term we want to see this thing crumble so keep that one on your watch list for today now the next one that we're going to be looking at is uh gps you yeah, have been asking about gps so far it's opening up at the same level i'm not too uh i'm not too excited about this one yet i do want it to see it out of here i do before i would consider this for a long because right now it's at a previous level of uh of support it's just hovering over it especially after it got annihilated after earnings okay so um keep that one on your watch list as well for a potential long it may surprise everybody and there may be a lot of volume coming in to the upside not a downside. Again, this one is on the recovery trail. It's on an uptrend. I'm not bearish on this one yet. Um, this was There was a lot of money to be made here to the short side. And I think these people are about to cover. And when they will cover, the stock will run. Okay? So keep that one in mind as well. And now, let's talk about LCA, the popular stock that a lot of people love. Um, I talked about this one on Friday pre-market and how it was going to squeeze the short sellers because short sellers got trapped in here. My drawings are still on the chart. It's still there. I told you all short sellers are trapped in here. Okay. And then on Friday, it just keep, it just ran, squeezed everybody. And now it's looking kind of like, 
I'm not bearish on it yet, even though it's showing some weakness right now. I'm not bearish on it yet. And I think it may have some room to go even higher. I do. Like it may consolidate some more just to like trap some more short sellers. And then it's going to squeeze them all to the upside. Um, that's how I feel about the stock. And that's what I think. So I, I think another round of short sellers are going to get trapped again. I, I think so. That is my very... And also be careful, especially if you short. <laughs> Shorting too early can hurt you a lot. So be very careful when you're trading these stocks. All right. Okay, that is the end of the video. Again, if you get value from the video, definitely destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. If you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you get notified whenever I release these pre-market analysis videos, which are released every single day from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time. 15 minutes before the market opens and the post-market analysis videos which are released every single day in the afternoon. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Patternology Lab. My links are right here. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter. I just launched a scavenger hunt up there. So again, definitely check that out. Also, if you are new and you're a beginner looking to get started in the stock market, I left some step-by-step -step, um, directions in the description of the video below, step one through step four. It only takes about 15 minutes to sign up with everything and to get ready to make some money in the stock market. Um, also, um, this is Thinkorswim. The one, the charting software that you've been seeing, it's called Thinkorswim. It's free of charge after you sign up with TD Ameritrade, okay? You can also get three free stocks after signing up with Weeble using my very first link in the description below. And one free stock after signing up with Robinhood using the second link in the description below as well. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video this afternoon. Do not get caught on the wrong side of the trade, okay?